वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वी आर स्टडिंग द सब्जेक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन विच वी आर स्टडिंग द टॉपिक कास्टिंग प्रोसेस एंड इन कास्टिंग प्रोसेस वी आर स्टडिंग द सब टॉपिक इन्वेस्टमेंट कास्टिंग और लॉस्ट ऑफ वैक्स प्रोसेस दिस इज शोन इन दिस प्रोसेस इज शोन इन द फिगर वैक्स इंजेक्टेड इन टू द डाई टू मेक पैटर्न pattern have been produced to general spur plastic metal flash flex flash around the pattern assembly the investment investing the wax pattern in the matrix this these are the figures of investment casting or loss of wax process lost wax process pouring the mold is preheated in the furnace to approximately 1000 degrees celsius and the molten metal is produced from the ladle into the gravity into the getting system of the mold filling the mold cavity cooling after the mold have been filled the molten metal is allowed to cool the and solidify into the shape of the final casting casting removal after the molten metal has cooled the cold can be broken the mold can be broken and the casting remove the ceramic mold is typically broken into into using water jets once removed the parts are separated from the getting system by either sewing or cold breaking using liquid nitrogen finishing up often time finishing operations are such as grinding or stand sand blasting are used to smooth the part at the gates heat treatment is also sometimes used to harden the final part investment casting or lost wax cast process has advantages like this such such a process can form complex shapes and fine details second many materials options high strength parts very good surface finish and accuracy little need for secondary machining and disadvantages time consuming process second is high labor cost high tooling cost land long lead time possible applications turbine blades armament parts pipe fittings lock parts jewelry these are the applications of lost wax process lost wax process pressure die casting in this die casting is a manufacturing process that can produce geometrically complex metal parts through the use of res resubable molds called dies hot chamber die casting low melting temperature zinc tin lead cold chamber die casting high melting temperature like aluminum total cycle time 2 second to 2 minutes clamping time required for close and clamp the die depends upon the machine lubrication in the die holes after 3 cycle cycles injection injection time depends on 
materials, walls, wall thickness of casting, injection pressure is 68 bar to 1350 bar. The pressure hold holds the molten metal in the die during solidification. Cooling high wall thickness requires long cooling time. Complex geometry also requires long time additional resistance to the flow heat flow of heat ejection during cooling the part shrinks and adheres to the die trimming during the cooling the material is material in the channels of the die will solidify attached to the casting this excess material along with any flash that has occurred must be trimmed from the casting. Pressure die casting. Hot chamber die casting. Pressure die casting is shown in the figure. Hot chamber or die casting machine is given in the figure. Low melting temperatures such as zinc, tin and lead. High temperature would be damaged will damage the pump which is in direct contact with the molten metal the molten metal has the molten metal then flows into a short chamber through an inlet and a plunger powered by hydraulic pressure forces the molten metal through the goose, goose neck channel and into the die. Typical injection pressures for a hot chamber die casting machine are between 68 to 340 bar. After the molten metal has been injected into the die cavity, the plunger remains down holding the pressure while the casting solidifies. After solidification, the hydraulic system retracts the plunger and the part can be ejected by the clamping unit. Pressure die casting, cold chamber die casting. Used for alloys with high melting temperatures, aluminum, brass, magnesium, melting of metal takes place in open holding point pot using ladles molten metal poured in the pouring hole this molding this holding pot is kept separate from the die casting machine the metal is poured from the ladle into the hot into the short chamber through a pouring hole. Injection is usually oriented horizontally and does not include the gooseneck channel. The plunger powered by hydraulic pressure forces the molten metal in through the short chamber and into the injection sleeve in the die. Injection pressure between 135 to and 1350 bar after the molten metal has been injected into the die cavity. The plunger remains forward holding the pressure while the casting solidifies. After solidification, the hydraulic system reacts, the plunger hydraulic system retracts the plunger and the part can be ejected by the clamping unit. Thank you. Now we have seen the topic pressure die casting, cold chamber die casting. Thank you.